Welcome back to Iowa, folks. This might be a sad video for y'all. Right now, we are just hauling some grain with our beautiful cab over here because this is the end of a great story, I think. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Yep. Be alive, Grant. There you go. I know this might not be what all you want, but all great stories have an end. So we are hauling the last of our grain. Uh, we got great price for this grain. Uh, $7 a bushel. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Make the turn here. Slow. Yeah, I really should have did a better entrance for this farm. Park this uh, truck here pretty quick. Man, am I going to miss this cab over. Whew, good looking truck there. I got stuff parked all over the place here, so we're getting the farm ready to shut down. Yep, yep, I know. I know this is probably going to be hard for some of you, but everything has to come to an end sometime or another. The multiplayer series will continue, trust me. There's some issues with this location. You guys probably noticed most of them. Oh man, I'm gonna miss you. What a beautiful rig. Oh, you guys probably don't know. I did end up picking up this Ford F-350 here. Flatbed, it's got a toolbox, it's got a welder, a generator, beautiful fuel rims and tires a little bit of uh you know some uh, custom offset there we did sell some of our uh, old uh, farm equipment over here you guys probably don't even uh, remember i had this stuff uh, when i first moved to this farm before i built the farmstead i had uh the old farmstead is just down the road here not very far don't worry y'all, at the end of this video, I'll go through all the equipment I, we have here, uh, just to, uh, just to remember all the good memories of this great story. Beautiful looking Ford in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Picked her up for a great price. It's got folding steps. I love the two-tone on it. And two, it's just got a flatbed. It's got, you know, the, the mean weekend look with the work built into it. Well, let's see if we can uh, start up the Model A. After that, we got to get the 7700 out here loaded up, hopefully. It's going to start. I did hope, I was hoping to actually do a, a plow off with this old tractor. Never ever got to it. That's a bummer. That would have been kind of exciting, especially just to see the difference between the years. Man, that would have been a great, a great time. Fortunately, we never got to it. These Model A's are uh, actually heavier than what you think they are. The old harvester actually started up. Can you believe it? Now we just have to get lined up. I did a really bad job of putting this trailer on. I have a hard time uh, getting this harvester on it. Yeah, I could have did a better job backing up. My bad. My bad. Is this old girl going to fit on this trailer? Oh man, this is hard being all the way to the side here. Uh, that's a little challenging. Just say that. Uh, pucker factor. Pucker factor. Gonna have to check the shorts after this. Uh, I'm just barely on that girl. Whew. Got a lot of weight on the back of that uh, axle there. That might not be the best load. Uh, well, we gotta go a few miles down the road. I don't think we can get any better. That's the problem. The old Ford don't like it. Super duty. It's having troubles. Definitely got too much weight on the app to this trailer, if you can tell. Oh, this might be dangerous. Might be 
really dangerous. Uh oh. Am I gonna miss that high line line? Don't want to get the shocks in my shorts today. I already had enough problems with them. Ooh. Careful. Oh man. Oh, look at this thing doing the hops. Oh no. Oh no. We actually made it to town safe. Can you believe it? Yep. Yep, miracles do happen. Miracles do happen. So we're going to get back. I thought I would do a little uh, farm tour for y'all. Yep, can't forget that. That's our tradition. I know Grant doesn't really like it, but uh, it's a tradition. You can't just stop it. I do think we have a uh, truck coming that we have to load here quickly. Probably do a little quick farm tour as long we'll probably get interrupted in the middle of it to be honest okay I'll unload or I'll probably unhitch this uh, gooseneck from the truck here we we'll use this uh, beautiful Ford to kind of show you guys around this uh, farm that I am just dreading on leaving man it's gonna be sad in saying that is okay I would like to know, leave it down in the comments, is uh, how do you guys usually farm? So what I mean is, is do you farm the same farm for multiple days, multiple play times, or do you end up, uh, you know, I'm talking about months on end, or do you change up your farm multiple times, or do you try to farm like you do in real life? I guess... Uh, when I played Farm Sim prior to uh, YouTube video and you know, everything, I would change farms probably pretty regularly. I would just because I love building new farms, love uh, kind of changing the whole scenery and uh, buying new equipment. That's one of the funnest things to do. You can uh, be poor, you can be rich, great game, you can play however you want doesn't really work that way in real life. We're gonna do a little uh, machinery tour here. So we got Little Blue. Little Blue, I have to say, is probably one of my favorite little tractors ever. Primarily because this thing probably gets more startups than any other tractor on this farm. We got a little Vermeer stand-up uh, skid steer here. And of course, you guys always know we had our Gleaner R75 here. We, we got the Draper head with the CWS air system. We do have another harvester. So you guys, if you remember, we have two farms here. We really have three. And if you want to consider it with Farm Boy in it, we have four farms to go through here. Yeah, yeah. Talk about a little bit confusing. We had a lot of farmyards. We had a lot of equipment. We had a lot of land, and uh, I think we were successful, at least in my opinion we were. This is our Toyota Tacoma here. We got a little uh, thunder trailer here. The best sounding 8850s I think ever. barely runs. Man, just love the way this sounds. Great 8850 John Deere. We have it on the John Deere VT disc here. Get a lot of use out of it this time. Of course, we got our power ram. Got another welder generator on the back of it. It's a great work truck, I think. Another one of my favorite tractors here is this little 6000 series John Deere primarily because it has a loader on it, uh, working cattle and everything. Oh, here comes our truck right here. Ooh, man, is he flying in the yard. Talk about a beautiful uh, rig here, flatbed rig. Ooh, what is this? Looks like we got a Phoenix here. Beautiful truck, look at them spikes. Oh my goodness, we have marker lights all around this thing. Love the way this looks. Look at that phoenix head there. Mm. Mm. 
Man, I'm a little uh, jelly on this truck. Love the air deflector on the top. Look inside this thing, old polished up chrome. Ooh, sleeper on the back. So we are actually loading up the Diger over here. Man, this is gonna be hard seeing this thing go. Hello to yourself. So this is one of my favorite tractors on the farm, at least favorite uh, articulating tractors, and yeah, we have a lot of articulating tractors. Oh, this is a little bouncy because our uh, Dimco trailer is in the way here. Got a maker. Here we go. Do a cookie here out on the road. Oh man, I cannot end up missing any of the bumps, can I? Yep, them are all pretty much all the bumps we have on the yard. Made sure I showed them on the farm tour. Ooh. She just barely fits up on there. Look at her smoke. Ooh, man, it's rough seeing her go. It is rough. Love that rig. Ooh, beautiful. Man, I'm going to miss you. I am definitely going to miss you. As you know, we have a ton of equipment. We got uh, a disc over there. We got a few flatbeds. We got a bale trailer. We got a uh, baler right there. This is actually Farm Boys here. Uh, 8420T. The T stands for track and C is for cookie. Uh, we got a uh, five shank ripper there. That is, uh, like I said, this is a Farm Boys uh, John Deere. We got a few uh, mowing decks here. And we got the big Steiger, the double engine Steiger. Haven't found a perch, a uh, somebody that wants to purchase this Steiger yet. We got it on the 1051 Storm Grain Cart. We got the 8650 here, the side by side engine. Beautiful John Deere. Uh, we got so many rare John Deere or rare articulating tractors here. Huh. It's going to be hard getting rid of them all. So I think that's about, oh, I forgot my garage here. I'm gonna take you a little trip in our garage. Uh, this is our GMC uh, murder van there. Of course, the Mustang here. 302 Boss, like we started out with. We got a Ram 2500 heavy duty on stilts. Whew, man. Is that one heck of a truck gonna miss it and uh yep we got our uh, Volkswagen rabbit another car I'm just probably gonna miss that was a, that was a joke okay we'll take the Ford to our other farm here don't worry don't worry look y'all if the multiplayer series will be back we, uh, I don't know exactly when I think everyone's just kind of taking a uh, break from it all Austin's place right here or one of his farmyards I should say and we'll jump on the highway here and our dairy farm is just down the road over in that direction is the co-op the dealership uh, a couple dealerships actually a huge farm in front of us there oh yeah and we got our Grant's RCC dealership down there row down here we just recently picked up this farm not too long ago what I like the most about this farm is probably the shed or the shop alone that shop is immaculate it's got a great it's a great little dairy farm got it for a great price uh, we, we primarily bought it for the land that it was sitting on but uh, it ended up working out great for us it's kind of a cold storage slash winter project work area here got the dairy cows being crazy up there on the top of their uh, poo mountain you can see all right this is our other 
harvester right here in front of us. We never actually got to use the sassy massy in the field. The diesel John Deere twin knife haybine there. Uh, yep, we got the draper head there. We got a couple cultivators. This was our planter here. Got plenty of uh, liquid product on this planter. Uh, one of my favorite 4955 tractors here. We ended up picking this up from uh, Farm Boy's uh, operation there. Oh yeah, we got the 4320. Never really used this tractor a ton. We got it on one of the cultivators there. That's too bad because I really would have liked using this in the field cultivating. This is our interrogator here. Beautiful uh, sprayer operation we had going here. Oh, little Timmy's here. Look, little Timmy's got a little bit of squat. Thank you all for watching. I know the last videos are always the hardest. But I will see you next time in a new area. Later, y'all. Shh, don't tell anybody. I'll still do more videos here. Just kidding. Or am I? Better stay tuned. Like the video, y'all.